The telecoms industry is well on the way to defining the new standards for 5G, but it has quite aggressive self-imposed timescales. Will these deadlines be met? Do vendors and operators have faith that this incredibly complex but essential standards process can deliver the requirements on time? Definitely we need to pay attention about the time schedule. So making sure that not only we proceed in a framework of a standardization, but also in a framework of timeline. Because there are countries like US and Korea at the moment that are more excited about the 5G opportunities in terms of ultra broadband. Europe is more excited about the IoT application, but at the end of the day it's critical that we arrive all together at the same time with the deployment of the network to avoid what happened with 4G when some countries did the, the deployment uh, uh, earlier than others, resulting in uh, 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 not homogeneous, a fragmented availability of the technology. I have faith in the standardization process. I think we understand, at least on the vendor side, the importance of creating that large scale. We need that process to work, and I think the problems are now. If we don't react, there will be other technologies that will be embedded into these solutions, and it might be too late to then decouple them from the solution. So I think an urgency is understood, and I think there is a good mode of cooperation at the moment in 3GPP and other standard bodies to make sure that this will take place in a timely fashion. We've seen acceleration already happening and I think it's important that we stick to a common standard. Otherwise we lose the scale that makes us so attractive and so viable as a key element of solutions to many industries. We strongly believe in standardization in, because standardization created the, the global ecosystem and the global ecosystem created the, the scale and uh, that uh, all of uh, this transformation possible. Then uh, it's very important for us uh, a common uh, uh, worldwide framework for 5G that include LTE and uh, its evolution but can include also maybe the other technology like Wi-Fi or uh, the evolution of the on uh, the on uh, license spectrum, and also in some use cases, in some IoT use cases, in vertical use cases like automotive, involve also other industries, not just uh, ICT industries. The development of 5G is aiming at at uh, delivering on the promise of of providing new opportunities for verticals. This cannot only be uh, addressed from a bottom-up approach where we provide new radio and network capabilities. This has to be done through concerted activities that aim at providing actual new verticals so that these, the, the understanding and acceptance of these in, as successful alternatives or new options are real, demonstrable. If this is not being done through, through pilot projects, uh, then we, we wait years until the, the technology emerges to determine where and how it's useful. The uh, operators that are boldly advancing into uh, their, their pilot projects aim at, at showing and I would say creating the, the confidence and experience we have in, in these future developments. I think the challenge here is, okay, time 2020, we will have a, a revised telecom regulation by then, definitely. The question is what happens in 2025 or are, are the regulators ready or uh, is it possible to create a regulatory framework that is future-proof uh, when you see the pace of technological development? If you involve uh, the telecom industry, the verticals and, and the regulatory uh, system, you are uh, much more inclined to achieve something that uh, is probably going to work for more than five years. If not, we're going to change the regulation.